Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney Springs. I wanted to come down and check out all the new offerings for the month of December. I know Gideon's has some Christmas cookies, uh, Amaret's has some Christmas like holiday desserts, and also look at the shopping situation. I know a lot of people are going to be wanting to come down to Disney Springs to do their Christmas shopping, so we might as well mosey through the world of Disney and even see Santa Claus maybe. Anywho's, let's go do this. First things first, whenever I come to Disney Springs and I plan on visiting Gideon's, I head straight over there to get a virtual return time because the wait time could be three to five hours and luckily it's all virtual. It's not like you're waiting in a regular standby line. I like the virtual queue because then you get to go around and do other things while you're technically in line and they added the Santa Claus like the Santa Claus meet and greet at Disney Springs as a virtual queue so you can actually sign up for that and then just go shop and do some other things while you're waiting. In fact, as soon as you get off the Orange Garage escalators, they have a little uh, QR code so you can join the uh, virtual queue for Santa Claus. So we might as well do that first since it's on the way. Join virtual queue. Join Santa's virtual queue. Look at that. It's only a 25 minute wait actually already too. So yeah, just one guest. Bada bing, bada boom, done. Oh, that was super easy. That was probably the easiest virtual queue I've ever joined. Wow, all I have to say is that is pretty amazing. It is like 12 o'clock in the afternoon right now and I joined the virtual queue to see Santa and I think they already called my boarding group like so I can go see Santa right now. So uh, I think we're gonna head over that way but first we have to stop the Gideons. I guess you can take that as a little tip. The earlier you get here, the easier and faster it is to meet Santa Claus. If you guys recall, when I came here in November, which I'm kind of doing now every single month, I come down to Disney Springs and I just kind of give an overview of all the new food offerings. But in November, I didn't want to show off all of the Christmas things because I knew it was coming back in December. And we had some uh, festive holiday like mixed drinks. But today, I want to see if we got any Christmas beers, you know? Maybe the Polite Pig, maybe City Works. We'll actually browse around and see what we can find. Well, it looks like we have stumbled upon a dilemma because as you know I signed up for the virtual queue to meet Santa Claus and then I planned on coming over here to Gideon so that I can get a return queue for this one but guess what no virtual queue for today kind of looks like it's just a walk-up so I think we're just gonna hop in line so that way we don't have to come back hours later it's so funny because I was talking about how much I love the virtual queue but today it's actually not as busy so they just have a regular queue and they said it could be maybe 15 to 30 minutes so uh, I don't mind actually waiting in a 15 30 minute line now I would not wait in a two or three hour line but I figured we wait in line here and then if we have to join another virtual queue to meet Santa we could just do that as you're waiting in line they come around and give you menus for the month of December and they ask you if you've been naughty or if you've been nice and that determines what menu you actually get. I think it's the same thing on each side it's just different artwork but I love these aren't they so amazing I have such a nice collection so I asked for two but obviously I think I've been nice. This is kind of like an anniversary for me because the first cookie I ever had here at Gideon's Bakehouse was the Christmas cookie and now we're back again. So we tried every single cookie every single month since then. On the back you can see all of the December limited edition flavors. The Kris Kringle which is a complex flavor white chocolate coffee bean cookie and then the Krampus the dark chocolate with a blast of cooling Andes mint. These are both so, so good, and I'm probably only gonna pick one, so I have to choose wisely. Something else I forgot to point out was the limited edition Krampus Cold Brew, also known as Chocolate Mint. That's for the holiday season, so we're definitely gonna get the coffee and one of the cookies. Wow, the wait time actually was only about 15 minutes. So do you see how that worked out? That worked out like kind of perfect. I could spend hours in here just smelling the air. It just smells so amazing. My favorite thing is reaching through the fire to get my cookies. It's magic fire. It's magic fire, right? <laughs> the story is, I'm not sure if you know, that if you like cookies, you won't get burned by it. Oh! Yeah. yeah. Only if you like cookies. Only if you like cookies. What about coffee? I think that applies to you know. <laughs> coffee through the fire. <laughs> All right. It is cookie and coffee time and I got the Krampus cold brew and look you got Kris Kringle on the front and then BOW! Krampus! It's 
whether you're being naughty or nice. I love it and I'm so excited to try it. As I was actually going to only order the Kris Kringle cookie, I wanted to get the Krampus coffee so I can have like a little bit of both. But I ran into Steve who is the creator of Gideon's Bakehouse and he insisted that if I drink the Krampus coffee and eat the Krampus cookie at the same time, it might open a portal to another world. So, I kind of had to do it. <laughs> First up, let's try the coffee. Now, this is basically a chocolate mint uh, cold brew. Oh, that is so good. Oh, holy moly. I love it. Did you, anybody just see that bird almost just hit my face? I was just too, in, I was too invested in the coffee, but wow. Mmm. I think I might like this now more than the pumpkin chai one. This is so good. Now it is cookie time and delicious things await. So we're gonna have to open up the box here. Oh boy, look at that, nicely wrapped up. And I'm definitely not eating all of these cookies. <laughs> these are massive cookies, I have to say. They are gigantic. So we're gonna definitely take some home and uh, at least we're gonna be able to try both of them though. Now it's time to unwrap and see what our first cookie is gonna be. Oh, it's gonna be the Kris Kringle, I can already see the white chocolate chips falling off. Oh boy, look at this bad boy. <laughs> and we're definitely gonna break into it though. I am so excited to try this. All right, here we go. <laughs> to the Kris Kringle. This is just so amazing. I love it. Like I said, this is the first cookie I've ever had at Gideon's, so I'm happy to be trying it again. And you can just taste like the coffee and the vanilla in there. So, so good. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to beat, but we're gonna try the Krampus now. Now it is time for the Krampus, and like Steve said, if I eat this cookie and drink the Krampus coffee at the uh, same time, another dimension will appear. So we're gonna try it out, but let's crack it open and look at the Andy's mints in there. That is a very minty, minty cookie. It's good though. It's very, very good. I still think I like my Kris Kringle a little bit better, but you know, we do have to try the combo though. We gotta try the Krampus, the Krampus Krampus cold brew cookie combo. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm trying this for you, Steve. We'll see how it goes. Okay, it's good, it's good. And then we're gonna try the Kris Kringle Krampel, the Kris Kringle Krampus combo. Sounds like a tongue twister. Oh boy. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you're team Krampus or team Kris Kringle. They're both absolutely amazing. I just feel a little nostalgic trying the Kris Kringle because it's my first Gideon's cookie. But now, I think we're gonna pack it up, boys. The cookie time is down. We gotta put that cookie down. Put that cookie down! <laughs> One of my favorite things is coming here and getting the cookie of the month at Gideon's. It is such a fun thing, and I'm so happy that I'm bringing you guys along with me. But now we need to move along. We're gonna find some more holiday things. And also, we gotta figure out what we're gonna do about Santa Claus. We already missed our virtual queue because it went by so fast. So I think we're just gonna join another virtual queue. So I just pulled up my Disney Experience app and it actually gives me an option to join a virtual queue. So I'm gonna see if Santa Claus pops up. Oh, nope, it says Ratatouille. Oh wait, maybe if I switch over to Disney Springs. Oh yeah, look at that. So I can just join another virtual queue, which I happily decided to do. Total guest number one, already in this virtual queue. Uh-oh, access denied. Well, I guess since I'm already in the virtual queue, even though it's been called, maybe I could still show up and use it? I don't know if it gives you a time to return back, like, bye, but I guess we'll uh, kind of just go over there and find out. Looks like Santa Claus is right over here at Once Upon a Toy, which is kind of fitting. <laughs> you know what I mean? It is a toy store, and I think to the right is Santa, to the left is shopping. We're going to go to the right. We got to meet Sandy. 
well, good to know. They said you have up to an hour to actually come and return for your virtual queue. So we've only been here an hour. We uh, already got our cookies and our coffee from Gideon's. Now we're gonna meet Santa Claus. I feel like we're making great timing. Like this is some, this is some unheard of stuff right here. I never really get to point out how awesome Once Upon a Toy is. You can see it's got these little uh, hidden Mickey claws actually delivering toys around the whole entire store. And we've got a Woody in the rafters. You see him up there? <laughs> we got a Woody in the rafters. I feel like that could be one of his, <laughs> his uh, sayings there when they pull his string. Hello, Santa. How you doing? Oh, good, good. I just. I like your shoes. They're my favorite color. Oh, thank you. I try to dress like you today, a little oh, bit. Oh, you got clothes. I know. You got clothes. I, I even have a beard too, but it's. I mean, it's a baby beard. Yeah, but it's not as nice as your beard. But that's what I want for Christmas. I want a full beard you eventually. Want a full beard? Yeah. Oh well, I can't get you the full beard. But what about a beard growing kit? Well, there you go. That's the, that's the magic of uh, Santa Claus. Yeah. yeah. You make it happen. Well, I wanted to say thank you uh, for delivering presents to uh, all the uh, kids on the nice list. I, I hope I'm on there and, uh, you know. Uh, you want me to check? Can you? Yeah, let me double check. Hold on one second. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah. Hey, you made it. You heard it there, folks. Yeah. Right. Yep. Teeth, you got I am on the I am on the nice list. Thank you so much. Yes. That has to be probably the best Santa interaction I've had for the whole entire season. I really, really loved it. And you can actually get your photo taken with them here and at Magic Kingdom now. Santa's actually meeting guests not only for the after hours event, but just all day long, and that's really awesome. Over at the Magic Kingdom, you get to take your mask off, but he's six feet away, so like it's not really the best interaction. But here you have to have your mask on, but you get to conversate and talk, and he's like literally like three feet away. Maybe Maybe even two feet away and uh, yeah I really love the interaction in there he was amazing and you heard him he said I was on the nice list since we're actually up this way I think we're gonna head into trend D and uh, maybe uh, browse a little bit for some Christmas shopping and just see what the stores are like this is one of my favorite spots to actually come well the co-op other than World of Disney because they always have unique things inside these stores they also have Disney Tales here, which is the pet store, so we can look to see if there's anything good for Gracie Girl. You guys would be shocked at the amount of spirit jerseys and sweaters Gracie actually has. She really does like wearing them. She always gets all fancy with her nails, and I like to usually match it up a little bit, but I'm not seeing anything new, anything for the holidays. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Look at this. Holy moly. It is a Pluto flannel. That is adorable. Oh, she has a flannel too, but not a Pluto one. I think I need to get it for her. Look at that, it even has a button up. We will look so cute together and we'll take photos matching. Okay, yep, th this is coming home with me. <laughs> I did not even hesitate to buy that. <laughs> I was like, I need this, Gracie needs this. And I cannot wait to take some photos. And don't you guys worry, I am going to try this on, Gracie, when we get home so I can show you guys. I am so excited. Also, take a look at this Cinderella Castle cookie jar. That is amazing. Oh, I really, really do love this. I don't know how much it is. It's probably very expensive. No, it can't be that expensive. We're going to take this top off and we'll look at the bottom here. $59.99. That's not bad at all. That's like an amazing deal, I feel like, for a castle cookie jar. Oh, I don't know which way it goes. That cookie jar is so cool. And I went to go see if they had the gigantic like crystal castle that they used to sell in here that was like thousands of dollars. But they actually sold two of them. The only one that still exists is in Magic Kingdom now. So I was like, wow, it's not here. And I can't believe people have bought two of them. Now I think I'm going to hop in the basin so I can wash my hands with some fancy soap and see if they get any Christmas soap in there as well. Are you soap right here? Oh yeah, yeah. Grab some of that soap right there. First you got to wet your hands, give them like this. I love this soap here. It's always good stuff. Makes your hands feel extra special. Oh, that's the way. Sugar scrub. <laughs> 
How's your How's your hands feel, Troy? I feel great, man. Right? Yep. Silky smooth, right? Oh yeah. It's the cookie. It's the cookie scrub. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Kind of make one one of the one of these. Yeah, right. Yeah. It does. It feels good. <laughs> yeah, I feel good too. Yeah, nice seeing you, man. <laughs> yeah, you too. Take care, man. Looks like they got a Merry Mickey and Friends body butter. That looks pretty good. And then a Mickey uh, holiday soap. A festive blend of holiday nutmeg, clove, and cinnamon with notes of orange and dried fruit. They also have some bath bombs here. See, I love always getting the Mickey soap, so. That was so funny. I ran into Troy and he came up to me and he said he liked my videos and he wanted to be in. And I said, well, I'm about to go wash my hands here in Basin. If you want to come along with me? And he said, I never washed my hands. I said, you don't know what you're missing out on because washing your hands at Basin is like, oh, it's, it's so amazing. My hands still smell great. I love it. Right next door to the co-op and Basin, they have World of Disney. So we might as well go in. And I love all the Christmas decorations in here. And as soon as you walk in, you can just hear that Christmas music. Really puts me in the mood for shopping. Hi, happy holidays. Happy holidays to you. Oh, wow. Good, good. Enjoying the day. Thank you. <laughs> Looks like they just put out some new spirit jerseys. Look at these bad boys. They actually look really fancy. Nice iridescent. It's got like the little frosting at the end there. Limit two per item per guest. My sister probably would like one of those. I ended up buying this spirit jersey just the other day because it's a red jersey so it's kind of like Christmas but it doesn't say holidays or Christmas on it at all so you could just wear it all year round and it's not like a holiday version and that's why I decided to get it because I kind of like it all the other ones they kind of just look like holidays so you can basically only wear it when you uh, you know are out for the holiday season but this one that's an all year round spirit jersey and that's why I like it they also have the Happy New Year shirt here, 2022. Wow, can't believe this year has gone by so fast. And they've got a lot. And I'm so excited to be able to celebrate New Year's Eve this year at Disney. Last year we celebrated at Epcot and then the park closed at 10 o'clock. So we actually hopped over and watched the uh, fireworks at SeaWorld. And this year we're gonna be able to celebrate and bring it in the new year. We're gonna be able to bring in 2022 at Walt Disney World and I'm very happy about that. I am very impressed with the crowds here today at Disney Springs. It doesn't seem busy at all. Usually the world of Disney is very hustle bustle but it wasn't like that at all and there was basically just a standby line for Gideon's. Our uh, Santa Claus was instant so like it's, it's, it's like a not a busy day at the Springs. I picked the perfect day to come out. Even Amaretz doesn't have a line. Normally I'm kind of like stuck out here waiting to go in, but no line. So we're gonna be able to go in and see all of their Christmas desserts. And I'm excited, I haven't been in here in a while and they always have the good stuff. Wow, the holiday Mickey Moose looks so amazing. I can't get enough on how cute they look. And there's my pistachio eclair, that's one of my favorites. But I think we're gonna try some of the holiday desserts today. They also have a peppermint eclair over there I gotta get a look at. There's the peppermint eclairs. They look good too. I don't know how a peppermint eclair is actually gonna be. I mean, I really do love the pistachio one, but I think today we're gonna, just gonna get ourselves a little holiday Mickey Moose. Oh my lord, I love it. It's almost too cute to actually destroy and eat. But I mean, we gotta try it. We gotta see what's on the inside. But look at how pretty that is. It is so awesome. I feel like I can just have it on display all year round. It looks so good. I don't want to ruin it, but I'm going to have to. Here we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Doesn't that look just so amazing? But here we go. And it's kind of weird because this is a Mickey treat that I'm not eating ears first. Unless... Ah, oh, there we go. Now, <laughs> now we can actually eat ears first. Oh yeah, that is so good. This is so, so good. And it's got little crispy pearls in there. And at the bottom, it's like a cakey cookie substance. And then the mousse all in here. Oh, so amazing. The red stuff though, kind of gets everywhere. Just <laughs> beware, the red stuff, it goes everywhere. 
Amorettes never fails to impress. They are always just so amazing. Now I got half of a Mickey here. Half of a Mickey and I got one ear left. Now that we finished our Mickey Dome, I think I'm gonna swing over to the Polite Pig and we're gonna see if they have any holiday beers. I think I saw one the other day and it looked kind of delicious. I think it was a gingerbread beer, but I always like stopping here and see what other holiday favorites they have. For October, they had a nice pumpkin beer with the cinnamon sugar rim and now their holiday like beer is a gingerbread red ale. And that sounds very, very delicious. So I'm definitely gonna get one. Look at that. Glorious, I say. I always love the polite pig glasses too. They're always so amazing. I'm gonna enjoy this beer a lot, I can tell. And you know what, I don't think I've ever had a gingerbread red ale before, so this is gonna be something new. There it is, cheers to you guys. Cheers to the holidays. That gives me the warm tis the season feeling. So, so good. <laughs> I like it a lot. The gingerbread beer kind of gave me like a happy, merry feeling, and I like it. But we need to move along, and I think we're going to stop at Sprinkles. We have to get Gracie her pup cake, and then I want to see what a holiday cupcakes they have. And then maybe down to City Works to see if they have any holiday beer as well. And uh, just kind of continue on enjoying a little holiday spirit down at Disney Springs. Before I head into Sprinkles, I wanted to talk about the Pandora store here. The other day I came down to Disney Springs because I needed to get some Christmas gifts and it was right after Black Friday and they were doing 30% off here and I got in line and like you see how like they're holding the door open? The line was from there all the way wrapped back here and I waited in line for probably at least an hour to get a Christmas gift but it was 30% off so when I got up there I think it was worth it and I was just real shocked because I didn't know it was 30% off so I was just like is this normally how busy Pandora is? I don't know much about Pandora's but there was a lot of people there who were very excited so it was I guess a big event and I had no clue they actually have a lot of holiday cupcakes this year. They have chocolate peppermint, then they have a Christmas cookie cupcake, then they have Santa Baby Red Velvet. I was almost about to sing it, Santa Baby. And then they have a Snow Cute Vanilla Cupcake, and then they've got the pup cakes. It's funny that they have the pup cake advertisement right there as well. And then a little gingerbread cupcake. And it looks like there's a gingerbread man on there. So they all look good, but today, we're just gonna get Gracie Goo a pup cake because we got her a flannel. So we're gonna give her a flannel and a pup cake. Pup cake obtained. I thought about actually getting one of the Christmas cupcakes, but I still have my Gideon's cookies to eat when I get home. So I'm gonna pass on those, but I, you know I had to get Gracie a pup cake. As we make our way over to the other side of Disney Springs, we're coming back towards Gideon's, and I noticed it looks like they're still on a standby, so no virtual queue, and that was only about a 15, 20 minute wait for me, so that is really awesome. We might as well stop into the ganachery, see if they have any Christmas and holiday festive things. They probably definitely do, and uh, one of the things I know they have is, I think, the hot cocoa bomb. No, I'm not about to get a hot cocoa bomb. I did have the Grinch hot cocoa bomb, and it was my first time having it, and I, I didn't know what was happening. So I don't know how this one would work. I'm not too sure, but I think that's it right there. I don't know. I mean, it looks like a hot cocoa bomb. It looks like a Mickey Santa hot cocoa bomb, but we'll go in and take a look-see. Oh no, this isn't a hot cocoa bomb. This is a Santa Mickey pinata. It's where you actually smash it. <laughs> I thought it was a hot cocoa bomb. And they also have the peppermint bark up here. Some very fancy things here. I've never gotten one of the pinatas, but I do like smashing things. Right here is the hot cocoa bomb, and it's an Olaf hot cocoa bomb, and it is sold out for the day, so you gotta get here probably before noon. It does look very festive. How's that fit in a gigantic cup of hot cocoa? It's 24 ounces of hot cocoa, we put it in a pot. Oh, you put it in a pot? Oh Holy moly, do you sell the hot cocoa here? Sell him. You sell him? Holy moly. That's got to be a lot of hot I mean, cocoa. Our hot specific ganache here is similar. Oh. Seems to be the hot cocoa Olaf bomb is more popular than Gideon's cookies, which I think is strange, unless they just don't make that many of them. I mean, it was pretty big. There's no way I could actually drink all of that hot chocolate if I did get one. I mean, that would that has to be shared, right? 
or else you'd be throwing away or you have a really big belly ache. Now we have made it down to the other side of Disney Springs. And is anybody else excited for Salt and Straw? I saw all their amazing ice cream flavors over in California, and I cannot wait for this to open here. 2022, some ice cream at the Springs. I am very excited for that. Also, we're next to AMC, and I need to ask you guys if you got tickets for opening day for Spider-Man. I hopped online at midnight and I was in like a virtual like wait list for like an hour I would say and I ended up uh, getting the front front row so <laughs> I waited an hour in a virtual queue to buy tickets for a movie that doesn't come out for three weeks and the only available seats were the front row but I took it I'm happy uh, I am happy just to be able to go and see it the only reason I want to see it opening night is because I don't want anything to get spoiled for me you know what I mean it's so hard to avoid spoilers all over social media so if you're there for opening night you don't have to worry about it right now though they're celebrating Enchanto and I can't wait to see that movie too I mean it seems so fun and festive and I like how they always have the nice photo opportunities too so you can always get a photo opportunity with your favorite movie and I can't wait to see the spider-man one it's gonna be so awesome this place is gonna be like a zoo for spider-man now we're gonna hop into City Works and see if they've got a holiday beer flight. I got my fingers crossed for that, or should I say I shouldn't, I do, I'm not gonna cross my fingers for it. That's what I said before. I'm not gonna cross my fingers for it, but we'll see if they have one or not. I ran into City Works, but it looks like I'm too early. They didn't start their Christmas beers yet. They said maybe in a week or two. Today is only December 2nd, so maybe they were waiting until their other uh, special, which is like a bourbon beer. I think they did that for uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, once that ends, then they'll switch over to the Christmas beers. But I guess I'm too early today. Just because City Works doesn't have any holiday drinks, I do know a place that we could check and that's Splitsville at the Bamboo Bar. And I bet you they might have a holiday drink. We have had the other holiday drinks like here for like Jock Lindsay's uh, Holiday Bar. And then also even the mistletoe drinks at the Disney Springs Carts. That was in November's video. So it's hard to find the newer Christmas cocktails for December. But right here on the side at Splitsville, they usually have some festive drinks here, so we'll see what they got going on. And would you take a look at that? The Poinsettia Spritz. Now this is a festive drink. Now this is what I'm talking about. I also like how we have a little hidden Mickey there on the top. I know I'm trying to focus in on it, but there we go. I like it. This is gonna be good, I can already tell. Wow, that is so good. I'm not even sure what's in it. It's not really on the menu yet, but it is coming to the menu. And this is one of the best cocktails I think I've had. It's very, very delicious. I, don't, I, I gotta know, I gotta know what's inside this drink. So it's got Prosecco and then sugar plum vodka inside of it and sugar plum jam. And it's, it's not like overly sweet. It's actually very delicious and refreshing. I like it a lot, very fancy. And I like the fact that it matches my shirt, so it makes it even better. <laughs> oh my lord, they're playing what I got. And I think I missed the part where they say I got a Dalmatian, but I got a Dalmatian. It makes me super excited. I wonder if they're going to start singing again. Speaking of I got a Dalmatian, I think it's time we actually head home and we try Gracie's flannel on and give her a pup cake and I'll bring you guys along with us and uh, I'm so excited to see what she looks like. I'm so excited to see how she reacts to it because sometimes she does like the sweaters, sometimes she's like, no, this isn't for me. So it's going to be either one, I don't know. There she is! Oh! 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 oh yeah! 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 Wow! I got a present for you! Oh, it's in that bag. Yes, it is. Oh, my Lord. She loves it. You love it, don't you? Huh? Look at this. She looks so adorable. Future photo session coming for us. I'm going to wear my flannel shirt. And then look at hers. What? You want a cupcake? You want a pup cake? Huh? Time for a pup cake? Yeah? Okay, come on. There she comes. There's the pretty princess. You want a pup cake? Right there. There you go. Don't take it and leave. <gasps> well, she's out of here. But 
She does love her flannel shirt, and I can't wait to wear my flannel shirt. And we're going to take little pictures together. I think it's going to be adorable. So, I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. Happy holidays, and we'll see you next time. Bye!